The city of Melbourne has a lot to offer. I showed you that in previous episodes. But if you look further afield, the state of Victoria has even more for you to discover. From hiking to glamping to downing some bottles of wine, just grab a car and drive along smooth freeways towards your destination of choice. Look at this crazy view. We skipped Torquay altogether, but um, this is where some of the best surf breaks are in the world. And in Torquay, that's where you have kind of like Bell's Beach and stuff like that, uh, which is like a surf mecca. Um, but obviously it's way too cold to surf, so I didn't want to get tempted. But look at this sunset, uh, sunset, <laughs> I'm still tired. Look at the sunrise, it's just insane. And the wind and it's cold and it's beautiful. This is the small town of Lorne. Uh, it's really cute and quaint. Um, and we're just gonna get some espresso um, and then continue on to Apollo Bay, where we're gonna hit one of the bakeries over there and have a little snack. I was clearly lying. I can't resist a good avocado toast. I mean, the produce is so just so good. I can eat this every morning. 30 minutes away from Lorne and about two and a half hours from the CBD, we heard of this place called Kennet River, where you can find one of the biggest colonies of wild koalas in Victoria. Look, he's saying hi. <laughs> he's so cute. So if you're lucky enough, you'll see little kangaroos. They're cute. If you look up in the trees, you'll see a bunch of different styles of birds. And here you got these parrots. And I think they're used to humans, maybe, I don't know, feeding them or something, because they're extremely friendly. Um, they just keep coming closer and closer. Currently in Apollo Bay, so another um, beautiful little quaint beach town. Um, while driving, what's funny, and even in these places, you see a lot of Chinese characters, and uh, is it okay if I say it? Yeah, it's okay if I say this, because I'm Asian, so. But there are a lot of Asians. Uh, and it's funny to see just everything translated. Well, I guess it's a, it's a very touristy area, so it kind of makes sense, but yeah seeing a lot of my people. Not racist, by the way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is the Mornay version. Australian scallops are probably some of the best in the world. You guys still got a little bit of roe in there and some beautiful Mornay sauce. Mmm. I can see why they have that tra translated both in Chinese and English. <laughs> it's really good. You should not miss out on that. After a three hour drive from the CBD, we finally reached the 12 Apostles. A network of limestone cliffs, caves and rocks formed over millions of years, crowning the rugged beauty of this region. This is the most famous stop on the Great Ocean Road and can get quite crowded. However, don't limit yourself to just this stop. There are lots of bays and coves where you won't find many people. These are usually just up random turnoffs all along the road, and if you have the time, they will provide fun spontaneity to your road trip. Once you've reached this point, you could continue on to Port Ferry, or you could take a right in country towards the delicious food that awaits you in the small town of Timboon. This spot is amazing. It's just so peaceful. It looks like a little slice of heaven, and it seems like it's kind of dairy country, because while we were driving, there were a lot of cows um, and only cows through the farmlands while we were driving and we found this place called Timbun Cheesery. Um, so we're having like a cheese sampler with some nachos. I'm absolutely starving. We've been driving since 5.30 in the morning. It's now 3 p.m. It's our first quote unquote proper meal aside from the snacks that we had a while ago. So I'm gonna taste all of this. This looks delicious. Got some local looking camembert here. Mm. And to know that this is made straight from the milk that they're getting over there on the dairy farm, fantastic. When you come to Australia, or any Commonwealth country for that matter, you need to get some scones. Fluffy, buttery, some fresh cream on that. Woo! And then some berries. There's actually a berry farm not far from here where you can go pick your own berries, so I wouldn't be surprised if that came from there. So these cool collaborations happening. There's a chocolate shop that's not far. She's selling the chocolate over here as well. 
So given the environment and I guess the temperate climate, um, the area is just full of different wineries, especially between uh, Timboon here and Melbourne CBD. And even around Melbourne, you have a bunch of different wineries and different wine regions and the wine is really good. Um, but we decided not to visit a winery simply because I'm driving and I won't be able to drink anything and that's equivalent to modern day uh, torture. So we just decided to pass by a distillery here, grab some whiskey, drive home safely, and maybe try some when I'm home. You don't come to dairy country and not have some ice cream. That's delicious. Hopefully this sugar rush gives me enough energy for a drive back to Melbourne. Should take about two hours and 30 minutes. Today was a pretty cool trip. I'm happy.